hottest July ever. So two years ago, my car gave out on me. And rather than buying a super expensive car that I couldn't afford, I took to cycling. And there are a ton of things that I definitely do not miss, like gas stations, or potholes, or road rage, car washes, oil changes, paying for parking, or just trying to find parking, and on and on and on, just like these steps. But sometimes it can feel just a little bit limiting. So St. Paul's building these bike lanes, but it's just kind of awkward because like it requires me to make a left, a left turn on a well, one way here. There's so many places in St. Paul where you don't realize that you're just like literally a mile outside of downtown. It's just super verdant here. So this right here is the confluence of the Mississippi and the Minnesota. And we're gonna follow closely along the Minnesota for quite a few miles here. So this is the start of the River Bottoms Trail and it gets kinda iffy down here, so I'm gonna roll down my pant legs and my sleeves. The brush gets pretty thick for a portion of this. And now, back to our regularly scheduled, very narrow, very dense trails. Here comes our barge friend again. Hi, made it. Back on tarmac. Shoes are a little bit muddy, but. That right there used to be me. But now, this is me. This is the farthest I've ever made it on this particular route that we're taking today. So from here, we're just flying by the seat of our pants and I'm already lost. Not sure if you can read that, but that says savage. How cool is that? How rarely do I get to go to a high V? So that is 1,400 wonderful calories that we're gonna need because we've got a long ways to go. My left brake is totally useless right now. It needs to be tightened. Rinky Dink has all kinds of problems like the seat, for example, which is stuck way too low, but it does not budge. And also from my fall, last fall, these wires ripped. And I don't know if that's like serious or if that's just no big deal, but it's kind of disconcerting. And then like my fifth gear down here slips. It doesn't work, which is like my favorite gear. So, and there's all kinds of like dings and dents too from all the wear and tear that have kind of like warped the frame just ever so slightly. But how serious is that stuff? I, I don't know, but it makes me wonder like how much life left does Rinky Dink have? So this is the end of the safe sidewalks for me. I gotta take this busy road here for like a half mile in that direction. 
All right, I hauled ass. Because that did not feel safe, so. Now I'm on these, uh, these country roads, these dirt roads. I'm gonna take these, hopefully all the way to Jordan, Minnesota. That was brutal. My quads are burning and I'm getting tired, but I suppose some people probably feel bad for me, like being out here on a bike, but I feel bad for people who don't get to experience this beauty. Bell Plain is like the only place that I haven't been able to get to on bicycle without having a car in the last two years. So for the two year anniversary of not having a car, I wanted to see if I could make it safely on bike to Belle Plaine, Minnesota. My mom was from Belle Plaine and I've still got some family out here. So it's a cool little town that just holds like a special little place in my heart. Anyway, I'm at the Belle Plaine Library. How cool are these book benches? 